Welcome in CAC PHP 3 auth component tutorial. So in previous tutorial we have seen how to create uh, basic authentication using CAC PHP auth component. So in this tutorial I will uh, show you some CAC PHP auth component settings. So for example uh, we have not still yet the logout option. So at first I will add a logout option in here. So for that uh, to, if we just want to add the logout option we have to go default layout page. That means the default page in CAC PHP. So this default page actually under the template and you have to go the layout folder and in this layout folder you can see a file that's called default.ctp. So this default.ctp actually we are showing in here the default page in top head this is actually in here so you can see the documentation and api there has two links that's in here i'm just going to remove this documentation and i'm just putting logout option in here so for that i'm just uh, removing this anchor tag and i'm hitting enter and in here i'm just using a uh, php tag and i'm going to finish my php tag and i'm just hitting i'm just typing echo and i'm just uh, typing this HTML helper, CAC PHP have, has a full helper it, that's called HTML and this HTML has a method that called link and this link has a parameter, the first parameter called link name so I'm using the logout, the name of my link and second is redirection that means after click on this uh, logout uh, name where the link will go so in here I'm going to mention my controller name and my <coughs> sorry <coughs> my controller name is users and second my method name <coughs> my method name is logout so we have already created a logout method in our users and here is the logout method that we are mentioned in here that means users controller and the action is logout so if I just uh, going to save it and I'm just uh, reload my page you can see the logout option in here so after click on logout option we can see we can we are going for log in so it's uh, comp uh, it's going for login page but the problem is you can see the logout option also in here but we, we don't want to see this logout button in our login page so for remove this we have to use a basic condition for example i i need a user authentication or a user session con session information to hide this link in our login page Be because here user not is still uh, uh, login that means the user information not in session but after login we have set the information in the session in our login set user method so um, we can set this uh, user uh, information uh, in a variable uh, using a method that calls the set method. So I'm using the set method in CAC PHP app controller. You know that CAC PHP 3 app controller uh, is the parent controller. So we are using this parent controller because we need this user information in every template. So I am using the parent controller. So this app controller in before filter method that's we have uh, created in our uh, previous tutorial for using the uh, for add a new user so in this time i'm going to use the set method in here so i'm just typing this set and set has two parameters first was uh, username uh, first is the variable name and second the value for this username for this uh, actually for this uh, uh, value so for this uh, variable so for this variable i'm using a value and this in this time i'm taking a value uh, from my auth component so i'm just typing this auth and auth has a method that's called user and this user has a parameter so we have to pass a parameter which information which user information we need username or email we can use the simple username so if i just uh, use this username that means this username actually set in this variable username so if i just copy this username and for test if we just uh, echo this line in our 
uh, that calls I just mentioned the PHP so in our index page that means after login we are going to user index page so in here I'm just uh, I, 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 uh, I am going to uh, print my username that means session name so I'm just typing uh, PHP and I'm going to echo and I'm going to use a name variable and I'm going to finish to here the PHP tag now if we just reloaded this page you can see the username in here so now we can apply this uh, uh, condition in default layout page so in default layout page I'm just hitting the enter so in here I'm just typing a simple if condition so I'm just say if we get the username then this link will be show so I'm just print it in here so so after save if we just reload this page and if we click on logout page we are going to login page in this time we are not showing this logout option so we have successfully made this uh, made this now this uh, so the, now we are going for the final settings in our uh, auth component and that is if we uh, don't want to use the username as a uh, in our login option we just want to log in using user email so for that what should we do so we just I'm just uh, setting some simple uh, setting uh, you, uh, in our auth component so auth component you can set some setting in our in your auth component so after auth after comma we are using a uh, array and in this array I am just passing a element that's for authenticate that's called the authenticate so I'm just using the authenticate element so in this element you can see this authenticate has also a array and here is another uh, element that calls from and this from actually mention uh, this fields username will be email actually catfishp auth component by default using the username for uh, uh, login so here i'm just mentioned this don't uh, use the username but i'm mentioned this username will be the email and password field will be the password this this is the same that i'm using but here i'm using the username will be the email so in this time after save if i just going to use a login page in this time this username will be email and after save if we just reload our page and in this time you can see that it have changed so we have to use the email so my email was uh, gmail.com and hit enter so in this time we have logged in using email so I'm just going to the final uh, set the final setting in our auth component so that is we are going to use the login redirect and in this time I'm going to use the login redirect like as this code uh, I'm taking this from another source this login redirect actually mentioned that after login where the page will go and in this time I am going to set this login redirect in our auth component and in our basic setting so login redirect will be the users and index so we have already uh, use, uh, used a login redirect in here but it will be more reliable if you use the auth redirect so I'm just going to change this or remove this and add this auth redirect URL that means after login it will go this auth redirect URL that means it will come in here and it will go for user and index space so after save if everything is right that I'm just typing gmail.com and hit the enter and you can see we are going to use us and the URL uh, looking so pretty than uh, previous so this is was uh, that was my auth component tutorial and thank you for showing my tutorial welcome for the next tutorial